The war was now in its fifth month. The defensive action of the Red Army became fiercer. Their counterattacks were stronger, and by mid-November, the Soviet forces were winning battles at Rostov. Having eliminated the majority of the 16th Panzer Division and the Viking Division, the Red Army managed to drive the Germans back towards the southwest. At the same time, units on the southern front were finally redeployed to launch an offensive along the Generalsko-Rostov line in order to eliminate the General Ewald von Kleist's 1st Panzer Division and free the town. At this point, the two friends parted. Viktor Smirnov left the Rossel Mash plan together with workers and arrived at Saratov on a troop train for his new assignment. Alexei Kuznetsov was injured, taken captive, and transferred to the village of Sinyovsko by Rostov, which had recently been occupied by German troops, and where they were setting up a camp to recruit and train prisoners of war for sabotage in the Soviet rear. Thanks to a sudden resistance attack on the village, Alexei Kuznetsov managed to deal with the guards and escape. He has now joined the resistance in an attack on the German headquarters located to the north. The Germans have established a recruitment camp in the village, so there must be something at the headquarters to interest our counterintelligence. They are keeping several Soviet soldiers captive in this old school building. You must eliminate the guards and free the soldiers. We need every available man. Having swept through the German headquarters and captured the documents, Alexei must cross the front line and hand the information over to NKVD officers who will know what to do with it. You must act quickly. Armed troops from nearby garrisons could arrive at any minute and then we'll be in trouble. Just my luck that the guerrillas decided to harass the Germans today. I need to help these guys. I can't just run away like a coward.
valuable loot. It turned out I was taken to a temporary The Germans have a whole network of the camps in the occupied territory. By a stroke of good luck, the resistance fighter attack coincided with the arrival of an inspector from Berlin. The papers he had on him would suffice to roll cigarettes for the entire division. He would still be surprised to write by his Existence of a secret center in Germany. The 
coordinated their entire intelligence network on Soviet territory. So I took the precious papers and set out, hoping to cross the front line and rejoin our 